Hi guys, welcome back to the vlog. In today's video, we're going to talk about our three-year-old homeschool routine. And this is something we do pretty much every day unless, you know, something happens. And of course, you know all about that. But we're going to go through our step-by-step -step routine about what we do. So let's get started. First, I want to show you guys our daily routine. This is by no means the exact what we go through and sometimes the timing is not exactly so I am very loose on our timing and our, our subjects and also we I have posted our school rules and we go through this whenever Sarah starts to um, start acting up or whatever we and it usually helps and I told her the most important rule is number five having fun right and the way we have fun is if we follow all these rules <laughs> yeah so that's what we do we don't do that every day but whenever she starts to not listen or whatever, that's what we go through it. And she's like, oh, okay. Sarah sits here on one side of the table. And I sit over here on this side of the table. I like to try and make a, a little bit of space between us so she's not like wanting to cling on me and stuff like that. And so she is to sit on her bottom. And then we yes, get started. Just like that boy. Just like the boys. The, um, rule number one. That's right. Sitting at the table. And today is Tuesday. So I pulled out our Tuesday folder. Every week, Saturday or Sunday, I go through what our materials are. And I put them all in the desired folder. So this is what we're going to do today. This week is week eight. And this is a review week of the two letters that we learned two weeks ago prior and that would be C and D. So we're learning the subject dogs today. We're reviewing, right? So I do the language development first and that's with the dogs, right? And I go to card number, what card number? Card number 19. I got to find card 19 here in the corner and we go through the subject and it's all laid out here in the book. Sometimes I go through in detail. Sometimes I skip a paragraph just to skim through it. And sometimes they have really good let's have fun little games here on the, under the let's have fun title. So depending on how you feel and how your, your schedule is that day, you can do all of it or you can do a little bit of it. So that's what we're going to do right now. What kind of animals do you see here? Dogs. Dogs. Which uh, what color are these dogs? Tell me all their colors that you see. I see black mm -hmm. and white mm -hmm. and orange and another white of that mm -hmm. and some more orange. What's this big color here? Brown. Brown. A lot of dogs are brown, aren't they? Dogs can do important work for people. If a person is blind, it's called a C&I dog can help them go places like this right here. This is a special harness to help the dog hold on, help them hold on to the dog and they can walk safely like across the street. The German Shepherd dogs can help catch criminals too. These dogs are called canine dogs. Rescue dogs help firefighters find people in burning buildings. Guard dogs protect homes and stores. Sheep dogs help farmers to keep their sheep together because sometimes sheep run away, don't they? They stray. Like that. One. Well, I think yes, that's a sheep dog, or um, it's called a border collie, but they, but that's what their job is. Like on Shaun the Sheep. Oh yes, yes, like yes, just like on Shaun the Sheep. Yes. With the dog, they keep their sheep together. Uh huh. All right. Well, that's it. So we can, after I'm done with the poster, I come over here to the wall and we put it right here on our wall of whatever it is we're talking about that week. I like to keep them up all week. And these are the two things we're talking about, D and C this week. So that's the end of the language development subject. So next on our schedule is the Bible lesson. And for week eight, I leave my scope and sequence out. Week eight, we are to learn about David and Goliath. And King David is kind. So we got to do that this week. So since it's Tuesday, we only need to do one. We need to do David and Goliath. But before we do our lesson, we review our Bible memory card. And I don't spend a long time on this. I just do it really quickly and then we move on. So we're doing these two, card five and four. Let's start off with this one, the little boy. Say Psalms, Psalms 18, 18 30. 30. As, as for God, so his way is perfect. Good job. I didn't even have to say anything. Good job. Thanks. All right, now this one Psalms, Psalms 23, 23 1. 1. The, the Lord is my shepherd. Good job. This is really good. And this, and, um, and we started this at week five. 
and she's already learning what those two are. This is about David and Goliath, okay? Where's David? Where do you think David is? Yes, what is he playing? A harp to make his sheep sick. To, to make his sheep feel better. Sometimes sheep get a little scared and the shepherd will help him feel better by playing music, right? What job did David have? What was his job? To take care of the sheep. Yes, he took care of his father's sheep. God helped David to be strong and know what to do when he was protecting his sheep from the wild animals. The Philistine army was fighting against God's people. David's three big brothers were soldiers in the Israelite army. Jesse, David's father, asked David to take some food to the Israelite camp and check on his brothers. So turn the page. There's the army back there and these must be his three brothers. And look, he's got his staff. When David arrived at the Israelite camp, all the soldiers were lined up, ready to fight their enemy, the Philistines. Can you say the Philistines? Philistines. Philistines. Those are the bad guys, right? Goliath stepped forward. All right, turn the page. Whoa, he's big, isn't he? Look how much taller he is from that man. Does he look happy or does he look mean? Look mean. Goliath stepped forward from the Philistine line in their hillside. Goliath was giant. Goliath called, send someone over to fight me. David knew that God could help him fight the evil giant. David was surprised that he asked some of the soldiers near him, who is this Philistine and wants to fight the armies of the living God? David's brothers got on him for coming down to see the battle. He saw the men run away from Goliath, but he knew that no one should be allowed to talk about God like that, right? David did not like how he talked about his God. I feel the same way. I don't like people saying bad things about God that I love, right? I love God. Mm -hmm. David said, I'll go fight the giant. Someone told King Saul what David was saying, and right away, King Saul sent for David. No one needs to be afraid because of Goliath. I will go fight him. But you're only a boy, said the king. You can't fight Goliath. So David told King Saul about the lion and the bear he killed. Remember that? We talked about the lion and the bear. The Lord helped me beat the lion and the bear, and he will help me beat the Philistine too. King Saul offered his armor and a helmet and a sword. I cannot fight like this. I haven't used these before. So David took off the armor and the helmet and the sword, and into his shepherd's bag he placed five smooth stones. Then his sling. With his sling in his hand, David went to meet Goliath. When Goliath saw who was coming, he became angry and yelled. He was yelling at David. David replied, you have come to fight me with a sword and a spear, but I come to fight you in the name of the mighty God of Israel. Today I will beat you. Everyone will know that the true God is with Israel. God will win this battle. David ran toward Goliath, took a stone, put it in his sling. The stone hit Goliath right in the middle of his forehead where there was no armor. David had won. God was with David when he fought Goliath. And God will help you too. So we don't have any skills development today or phonics today because it is uh, it's Tuesday and there it's only on Monday, Wednesday, Friday. So we're gonna do their numbers today. And our numbers is Lions. Lions. I thought they were some dogs. No, no, yeah. they're lions. So we need to count the lions, okay? And then we need to color the lions. Look, look at that man. See? He's saying, That's a ringleader. Yeah, he's saying, ta-da. Let's count the lions. Mm -hmm. Help me count. One, two, three. Very good. Now you point to them and count. Start here. One, two, three. Good job. Very nice. All right, now can you color these? What color are these? Orange. Okay, color those orange. I got this from Amazon. This is her school bag. And it has a zipper. And you open it up. And you put your school supplies in here. And this is where she keeps all of her stuff. She keeps her crayons, glue stick, hole puncher, some tape. She loves fixing things if she tears a piece of paper. So she loves fixing it. And her scissors actually go in here. And her hole puncher goes in here. 
and her pencils go right here. They're supposed to go right here. And every time we go, we start school, I tell Sarah, go get your school bag. And she goes, gets it. Because this is everything we basically sometimes need. And it holds her chart as well. We do our chart every day. This is week eight. And we just finished Tuesday. So when we're done with all of this, she'll put her little star here. Gives her a sense of accomplishment. You know, I'm done. I did it. I did a good job. I put a star down. And that's what she does. What's your name? Good job. All right, now you get to put your star down. <laughs> and she gets so excited when she gets to do it. Put it on Tuesday, right there. Yeah. So that's it for our homeschool routine. Every day is different because every day I have designated subjects that we talk about. Like daily, we talk about language development. And this is the subcategories underneath that. And then every day we do a Bible lesson. Every day we do the skills development. And these are the subcategories for skill development. Except music, that's on Monday, Wednesday, Friday. And then Monday, Wednesday, Friday, we do phonics. Numbers, we do every Tuesday, Thursday. And staff and rod is the the extra workbooks that I bought and we do those when she wants to do a little extra work like if we do this too quickly and she feels like she wants to do more stuff or she gets bored and everything I'll pull out the staff and rod and she's usually glued to it for a little bit and she really likes that little extra curriculum and that's what we do and if we do that it's two or three pages and if she wants more than that I might let her do more than that but I try to keep it at a minimum because I want her to play and enjoy different things other than just schoolwork for right now because she's only three so if you guys want to see me do a whole long video or a whole week like back-to-back -back videos of what I do every day just let me know in the comments below or give me a thumbs up and I'll give you a full five video of what we do each day so you guys can see that and see how it goes see what I do I hope you guys liked it and it was informative please like and subscribe so you guys can be in tune to more videos to come and I'll see you guys later bye that was sticking to my hand <laughs> wow, look at that.